Hey, flying saucer! Hey, hey, flying saucer! Hey everyone, this is Jason from Dieterbahn Bitmap. What you're looking at right now is the first animation that I ever did in a program called Tube Boop Studio. Um, it was something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to animate something, but the thing that was holding me back is I don't know how to animate, don't know how to draw. And so about uh, a couple months ago, I started really looking into it. I really committed to, you know, doing this. And I did a lot of research, and the program that I zeroed in on was a program called Toon Boom Studio. And it's something that's geared towards beginners, and it was something that, uh, you know, I found really effective, really easy to use. And what I want to do today is kind of walk you through the kind of the, the basic steps of how to do an animation like I'm doing here. Um, none of these are drawn. They're actually um, photographs that I animated using a, a technique called photo uh, cutout animation. And that's a, really a technique that's really popular these days, and you'll see it on a lot of TV commercials, a lot of, a lot of shows. So it was something that was pretty cool, pretty easy to do. So again, what I want to do is kind of show you the inner workings of, of Toon Boom and, and how to get started with it. So this is what Toon Boom Studio looks like on the inside. Uh, this uh, image that you're seeing in front of you is from uh, one of my latest videos called uh, The Annoying Hairball, which is a parody of The Annoying Orange. I'm sure you've heard of that one. And um, so I, I, one thing I don't want to do is minimize the complexity here. I mean, it's not an easy thing to do to do an animation. The nice thing about Toon Boom Studio is that, you know, it's the pieces kind of all fit together and, and uh, work pretty easily once you understand what everything is doing. This one is kind of neat, too, because I have a lot of things going on in here, a lot of different pieces. But one of the things that we brought in is actually a video of my dog, Henry. He's in the background right up here. And so not only do we have the animation going on, but we have, you know, some photographs in the background uh, that look pretty realistic. And then we're able to bring this movie in of a dog eating. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let's start out with something a little bit less complicated than, um, than this to kind of get you the, the feel for the program. Because it is, again, uh, pretty easy once you start putting those pieces together. So this is what Toon Boom looks like when you first open it up. What this black box is, is the camera view. So essentially anything that shows up within that box is going to show up on the final animation. Anything that's on the outside of the that box is not going to show up. It's going to be kind of cut off. Um, so one of the first things that we want to do here is add a background. And so I'm going to quickly go through the steps. Again, the purpose of this tutorial is not to show you, you know, in depth how I do things, but just kind of give you an overall feel. So essentially what I'm going to do is import a photograph that I have saved on my desktop here. And as I said, I had uh, no talent with drawing. And so essentially what this is again is a photograph of my front door and a door re leading to my utility room. And in fact, it's it's really not one photograph, it's two photographs that, that I, I merged together in Photoshop. I also, as you'll see here, did some things with the lighting and kind of, I wanted to make it look kind of look like a stage and kind of give it some depth. So I kind of played around with the image a little bit, but this is essentially all you need to do is just to bring it in. And I'm just going to resize it just a little bit so it gets a little bit bigger and fits in that camera view. Again, so again, with the camera view, anything that's over here is not going to be on the camera, so the camera is only going to see what's in the box. The neat thing about Toon Boom is <clears throat> you can go ahead and, and put some perspective in here. And the way that you do that, um, I'm going to go over to my properties menu over here and essentially just put in minus five. And essentially what that's going to do is move it back five spaces. And you can see what happens there is it shrinks down a little bit. So I can go ahead and resize it again, bring it up to speed or bring it back up to size so what I want to do is show you over here what's going on this is a, a neat tool that uh, Toon Boom have this is showing you you're basically what your camera is going to see so you imagine this little point back here is actually where the camera is and then my uh, background the, the wall and the doors is, is actually right here so again I moved it back from the starting point which is this gray line I moved it back five spaces so if I do this and just bring it back in. Essentially, this green line again is the wall, and now it's just essentially at this kind of the starting point uh, where they they count front to back. So I can go ahead and push it back again. So again, that's the the background. It's important. It looks pretty good. And where I think you really start shining here is when we start bringing in, in some additional photographs uh, and start doing some animation. So what I'm going to quickly do again is bring in a the thing that we're going to animate. We're going to start out with something that's relatively easy here. I'm mean, going to actually just bring in a picture of a basketball. Let me go ahead and open that up. 
And so essentially what I did here is I, I took the picture of the floor and the door, and then I started taking pictures of my dog and some other things. It's pretty important to kind of get it at the same perspective. So essentially what this is, is again a picture of a basketball. I, I laid on the floor and took it, um, um, you know, laying on the floor so you kind of get the similar lightings and things like that, similar angle of, of what you would normally see if you were looking at it from this angle. Um, so essentially what I did is just cut the circle out and then I cleaned it up a little bit further in, in Toon Boom, but rather than bore you with those details, I can go ahead and get rid of that. And actually, I'm going to bring it in this ball that I actually had sitting off camera over here. So essentially, this is the same ball that you just saw, but again, I just cleaned up the edge a little bit. So to get us started on the animation, what I'm simply going to do here is I'm going to extend our background a little bit further. And essentially what I'm going to do is just make it so that we can see it later in the video. If we just keep it on that first frame, as soon as I got out of the, to the second frame, it would disappear. So we don't want that. What I'm going to do is just use what they call a transform tool. And I'm going to say on keyframe number one, that's going to be the position of the ball. Let's say let's go to keyframe 70. And I'm going to say, okay, the position of the ball is going to be over there. So that basically means in between these, these keyframes here, um, as the thing animates, it's going to move from our starting position over here to our ending position over here. So let's see what that looks like. So let's go back. We'll rewind it. There we go. We just animated something. Now, it doesn't look so good, right? Because um, that's not really the way the ball moves. If a ball was moving like that, it would be rotating uh, or turning ar around. So what we're going to do is, is just flip this rotate tool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say we, we rotate it about six or seven times. Essentially what that's going to do is say, OK, we're going to go from this starting position to this ending position. And in between, it's going to kind of fill that in and rotate uh, the six or seven times that we just flipped it. So let's go ahead and rewind it. Now it kind of looks like a ball rolling across the floor. Now, the one thing that doesn't look quite right about this is it doesn't look like it's positioned probably where it should be. And again, we're, we're, um, uh, what I'm talking about here is the, the depth. It kind of looks like it's a little too close. It kind of almost looks like it's something that's just sitting on the top. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select this, go over to the properties menu, and just move it a little bit further back. And we'll probably just play around with this just a little bit and just make sure it looks like it's sitting on the floor. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, one nice thing that you can do in Toon Boom is you know play around with the, the perspective by using this top view of the camera. So we're going to look over here, and again, this is the this dark green line here that extends off the camera view is actually the background. So I can actually select that. If I use the right tool, I can select it and actually move it around. And you can see on the, the window over here, it's actually moving in perspective. So that it, it can help, actually help me line this up so it actually looks again like it's right right position relative to the other things in the in the background so that's kind of cool the other thing that we're going to do is go ahead and, and add another uh, element to this and so you can see up here i have actually have a beach ball that i've added earlier and it's the same kind of technique i imported in i cleaned it up a little bit more in photoshop but what we're going to do is actually have these two elements kind of interact with each other so i'm just going to move ahead a little bit in the animation and let's say we want these two balls to kind of crash. I'm going to use the same basic technique I've used the transform tool on this beach ball and I'm going to say this thing is really going to come sailing out here at a pretty good rate of speed and it's going to go from that distance to or the starting position over here to this distance in just a couple of frames here and we'll make it really spin pretty quickly. I used the beach ball so you can really see it um, you know, spinning quite easily. Okay, so they're actually going to make contact there. So um, the other thing I want to do is just skip a frame ahead or a frame or two ahead there. Put another keyframe in for the beach ball. I'm actually going to just make this thing look like it's dented a little bit as it makes some impact. I'm just going to rotate that a little bit and um, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's all going to happen pretty quickly. And um, the next thing we want to do is kind of make it, again, reflect off each other. So what I'm going to do is move this ball up. We're going to kind of 
stretch it back out again. Round it back up. Go ahead and use that rotate tool. Twist it around a few more times. Then we're going to skip a few frames ahead. And go ahead and, and have it sail off screen here. So we'll take it completely off the screen. And let's get a few more frames ahead again. Have it come right back down. Well, let's see, we can make it come all the, way, all the way down to the ground. How about that? Speed up this process a little bit. Now you can see that the ball is still a little bit misshapen here, but. I think you kind of get the point. Um, <clears throat> let's stretch that back out a little bit. Okay, so not too bad there. And then what we'll do to kind of finish this up is have this ball kind of bounce again and roll off the screen. Maybe we'll move that over just a touch. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. So not ideal on the physics there, but you kind of get the idea. You know, just very quickly we were able to, you know, have two things uh, interact. Well, that's about it for this Tune Boom overview. Uh, what we wanted to do today was kind of give you a, a flavor for what uh, goes on in the Tune Boom product. If you're ready to take that plunge, what you can do is go to the Tune Boom website and download a 30-day trial. I'd appreciate it if you clicked on the link that's in uh, my profile page or in the description to this video and, and go over that way because that way I get credit for referring you. So. Um, what we're going to do in future episodes is kind of explore these topics a little bit more more in depth, a little bit more uh, detail so that you can actually follow along and recreate the things that I've done. So I appreciate your, your time today. If you have questions, comments, please go ahead and leave those on the video. I'd also appreciate it if you went over and, and checked out my Henry and Mama videos. I'm pretty proud of those and love your feedback on those as well. So thanks for, for uh, stopping by and please subscribe.